Can you hear me? Okay. Um, good evening. My name is Mirela Voiculescu, and tonight I'm going to talk about Pivotal Green Plan, uh, the open source, share nothing, massively parallel processing data warehouse. Um, I'm going to talk about what it is, its main features, how is it different from the other products on the market, what technologies it uses, the management and deployment, hardware and operating systems. I've also included some slides that show an EDL process I've implemented using Sandbox Virtual Machine for Oracle VirtualBox, available for download at Pivotal Network. Um, the Sandbox Virtual Machine combines Pivotal Green Plan Command Center Management, uh, the open source Green Plan database built on PostgreSQL 8.2, I think, um, Apache Metlib, um, that's an analytics library for big data advanced functions. It is a big data machine learning in SQL for um, data scientists. Um, according to EMC, MED stands for Magnetic, Agile, and Deep, and LIB stands for Library. Um, it includes PLR, PL Perl, PL Java, the procedural language for R, Perl, and Java. These are extensions for PostgreSQL of Object Relational Database. Also supports PostGIS. Uh, that's a spatial database extender for PostgreSQL that adds support for geographic objects, allowing uh, location queries to be run in SQL. So Sandbox Virtual Machine combines all this into a convenient, easy-to-use virtual machine. Um, the main objective is to raise awareness of how a dedicated analytical data warehouse designed to extract valuable information from data can make a difference in today's need for storing and analyzing huge amounts of data for a variety, from a variety of sources. The main point um, is to demonstrate how a massively parallel processing database such as Pivotal Green Plan can serve business needs and give them a head, head start by performing SQL-based analytics using this share nothing architecture, high performance, open source, modern data warehouse. The target audience consists of um, consists of business across uh, businesses across all different kinds of industries that want to have a platform that um, would enable them to become a digital business and take advantage of big data. So, um, what is Pivotal Green Plum? Um, Pivotal Green Plum is an open source, share nothing, massively parallel processing data warehouse. First, um, let's start by explaining some of the big terms used in the above statement. So, um, what is a massively parallel processing data warehouse? According to Connolly and Beck, the term massively parallel processing. MPP is a multiple processor architecture in which each processor is a part of complete systems system with its own memory and disk storage. Greenplum uh, database is a platform of choice for distributed applications and has all the advantages a uh, distributed database management system has in comparison with the traditional system. So Fast, faster data access and data processing, easy growth, which provides scalability, um, improved communications and reduced operating costs, processor independence and less danger of a single point failure. Um, according to Pivotal, Green Plum Database has been designed for business intelligence processing and advanced data analytics and provides powerful and rapid analytics on, on very large volumes of data. Uh, that's uh, from Pivotal Software Datasheet. Um, 
Green Plum database has a distributed database management system suitable for the dynamic business environment nowadays that solves the need for applications accessing data from various sources at multiple loca locations. Um, the architecture, the MPP architecture, not only on Green Plum, but on any, any, any MPP. <coughs> Um, an MPP database is designed to so that it uses the MPP architecture which allows many operations to be processed at the same time by many processors for enhanced speed and performance of databases that deal with huge amounts of data. So data is divided across multiple nodes or servers to process data locally. In an MPP architecture, there is no risk of um, sharing because there is no disk level sharing to be concerned with. Um, this is the reason why it's called a shared nothing architecture. So how is it working? Um, like any distributed database system, um, there is a master host um, that logs, that um, holds the the catalog and metadata information about segments. Um, there is also a standby um, master in case of master host failure. Um, the segment hosts, which host um, database segments. So these are all connected um, through a network layer. Um, which is a switch hub most of the times for communication between segments. So uh, provides communication between master and, 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 and the segment hosts. The next slides will show um, the distribution of data in Greenplum. So I'm going to um, start with this um, sample dimension table. Sample and with a simple and there's a sample dimension table. With a simple dimension table. Um, the main characteristic of a distributed database is uh, is data distribution. Data is partitioned across segments to achieve parallelism. In this slide, I'm showing a simple dimension table as a as a sample with with two fields: um, product ID and product description or product name. The key here is using distributed by clause that uses an algorithm to automatically spread the data across segments based on the primary primary key, prim, uh, which is product ID. Uh, that's a distribution key um, to get an, an even distribution. Um, then I'm populating this table um, with some random healthcare product data, as you can see, I use a couple of a couple of pro from each type of products. These are beds, scales, measurement tools, growth charts, and um, measuring rod is a measurement tool, and so on. Um, in this slide, um, um, I describe the table. Um, to see what, what fields are in the table, and uh, um, I use two simple queries. The first query asks for um, data of a particular product ID, for example, ID equals 7. The second query um, asks for data from um, a list of products IDs, 1 and 4, for example. So, um, <coughs> as I said before, the master holds information about segments and how is the data distributed for each relation. When the first query is, is, is issued, like show me the data for product ID equals 7, the master builds a query plan. Um, because I use distributed by ID, 
clause that master sends the query to be executed um, on to be executed on segments one and three that holds the ID one and and four. So this way there is there is only there so this way there are only four tuples, two for each database segment, so this can instead of eight. So this takes advantage of the parallel, parallel processing. The data set result is then returned to the master, which presents it to the user. Um, in the case that um, in the case of the, of the first query, um, which um, shows which requests the, the data for only one product, the master plan builds the, build the query plan <coughs> the same way and sends the query to be executed to segment 4 that holds the ID um, equals 7. So instead of scanning 8, again, instead of scanning 8 rows, we, um, it, all, it, it only scans 2, um, which increase, of course increases speed. The main um, features Replum has all um, all the uh, all the features, functions, and characteristics a distributed database management system has. Um, a DDBMS governs the storage and processing of data over multiple interconnected computer systems, which have distributed data over several sites. According to Pivotal, Greenplum has a built-in cost. Um, based query optimizer capable of handling optimization of pentabytes of data without degrading query performance. Um, it is an open source technology under Apache li license version 2.0 and um, available to community on greenplum.org. Um, it has a polymorphic data storage and execution, which means that the tables can be stored in a way they are accessed, row or column oriented storage. Um, the data can be accessed from external compressed or uncompressed files. Um, it, it is built on a standard uh, database in interface, in interface PostgreSQL. Um, from business intelligence and analytics point of view, uh, Greenplum database is built on a standard database interface, uh, PostgreSQL fully supported with, um, with various business and intelligence and, and ETL tools. Um, it has advanced machine learning capabilities through Apache Matlib. Um, according to Pivoto, um, Greenplum database supports data federation with um, all Hadoop distributions using uh, Greenplum HDFS that enables a minimum data movement and integration, and also has PostG support, um, PLSQL, PLPython um, functions implementations. Um, from a security point of view, uh, Greenplum supports various authentication mechanisms such as Kerberos and LDAP and uh, encryption of data in motion and data at rest um, through PG Cracker package um, according to Pivotal Software Datasheet. Um, how is it different from other products on the market? Well, it, uh, the first and foremost is that it uses the open source technology under Apache 2.0 license. That definitely differentiates it from other similar products on the market. Anyone interested in to address daily business intelligence and analytical program can begin and take this product for a ride. Um, it is a cheap solution, a platform of choice for distributed applications, and it has a self-contained database management system. It runs on commodity hardware, running Linux. You don't need 
it is fancy or expensive. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it provides the first necessary step step into to predictive analysis um, based on big data. For the ones inter interested in an out of the box solution, there is a commercial version with multiple nodes, part of the Pivotal Big Data Suite, for um, which EMC uh, data center provides the necessary appliance to ease and facilitate the deployment. Um, so what technologies it uses? Um, as a part of Pivotal, uh, Big Data Suite provides solutions needs. Um, by using an analytical data warehouse through Pivotal Green Plan, in-memory data through Pivotal Gemfire, in-memory SQL for big data applications through Pivotal SQL Fire, Hadoop distribution through Pivotal HD, uh, SQL engine for Hadoop files in Pivotal Hawk, which is also called, uh, called Hadoop with query. Um, the management of Green Plan database. Green Plan has um, administrators can manage the system through command center that has performance metrics and analyzes the system health and usage. Um, the, the, the picture below depicted from um, Green Plan database sandbox virtual machine for Oracle Virtual Box installed on my personal machine um, shows the command center. Um, so it, it's it's very easy to use and uh, very friendly interface. Um, the deployment. Um, hardware and operating systems. The open source Green Plan database is deployed on Linux Red Hat 64 bits or CentOS 64 bits on commodity hardware. Um, the commercial Green Plan database is part of the commercial Pivotal Big Data Suite and, um, and supports. Multiple deployer errors as well when we create tables, create an error table as well to handle the errors. Um, nothing is perfect, no data. Data comes in perfect. Um, However, you want to partition uh, the tables. Um, Populate dimension. Tables. Data. Um, since the Green Plan database sandbox virtual machine comes in or co comes in already equipped with some sample data placed in a directory under Linux. I'm going to use the data provided by uh, to demonstrate the ideal process. However, um, this data doesn't miraculously land there from the sky, and it's not part of this software either. So, how is the data gathered? In this section, I'm going to show an example of how to gather data in case 
we need some to play with. Um. And using uh, once we get to the statistics page, we search through this type for any kind of data that we want. For example, ultimately it takes us to the database table configuration page, which is this picture. So here we have the option of getting the whole pre-zip file with all the fields for the periods we want or periods of time we want. For example, 2015 January. We can download this. We can also um, download another one like December 2015. <coughs> we might need uh, some lookup tables as well. So here are here are some Some, you can get some. So, if they're not, just rename them to CSV in order to use them. Uh, they usually are. Um, but then we need to kind of massage the data a bit. For example, we need to specify the end of the file by inserting a, a backslash um, at the end of the file. Um, we want to mesh, we might want to mesh up some data to get some wrong values, some nulls, you know, in order to have all types of data in the mix. The data never comes in perfect. So most of the time we have errors. So we need to demonstrate how we can configure the table so that the bad data is rejected. The, the last slide, 17 to 22, show the ETL process implemented in Sandbox Virtual Machine and using the scripts and data provided in uh, uh, um, by um, Green Plum Tutorials. So here, um, <coughs> DT displays tables, all the tables created. Um, the D underscore stays for um, dimension tables. So these are dimension tables. Um, um, the next is to create, um, like I said, to create a low tables. So here we um, create two tables because we want the errors to be handled as well. Um, Then you populate the dimension tables um, based on the lookup tables we just insert. Um, um, some data into the Dimension tables. Then we load data into the fact tables. Um, <coughs> we insert the fields and data we want, um, and as you can see here, <coughs> after we we insert the data into the load table based on the external table we created. 
we found 26,526 data formatting errors. Um, so these all are all rejected and inserted into the error tables. So this is how, how, um, how the errors are handled. And the next slide, this slide, is, um, it's shown, shows uh, two simple queries. The first query is asking for the average arrival delay in minutes from Boston to, from Boston and Atlanta with counts by origin. And um, the next query asks for the average arrival delay in minutes for US Airways and Delta carriers with counts group by carrier. So um, what I've learned from this, I learned that, that um, I learned a lot about people of being from being a dedicated analytical data warehouse designed to extract valuable information for, from data that can make a difference in today's need for storing and analyzing huge amounts of data from a variety of sources. Um, it is a great solution for businesses across all different kinds of industries that want to have a platform that would enable them to become a digital business and take advantage of big data. Um, it also has a wide range of advantages compared to traditional data warehousing and analytics solutions such as commodity, cost-effective, distributed, self-service, real-time, deep, and agile. So all these make makes um, all these make people out of income a great platform from for nowadays demands for speed variety and availability of data applications. So I think I think it's a great tool. Thank you.